Happy morning, my dear children. So here we are with our chapter Animals and the Young Ones. Today we are going to study about birds. So come on, children, let's start. So today we are going to study about birds. All birds such as crows, sparrows, hens, and eagles reproduce by laying eggs. We know that birds give eggs, right? The female birds lay eggs in nest. Now, each egg has a hard but thin protective outer covering called eggshell. See, this is the internal structure of the egg, and see, this is the eggshell, which is thin and protective. Kya function of the eggshell ka? It protects the egg. Inside the shell, there is a white jelly-like substance called albumin, also called the egg white. Inside the egg, see this portion, this whole portion is egg white. Okay, this portion is egg white. Albumin is rich in proteins and in the center of the albumin, there is a yellow substance called yolk. See, this is yolk. Ye jo hai na, beech mein, yellow colored substance, this is yolk. And it is rich in fat, vitamins and minerals. You know, when we boil the egg, when we boil the egg, we can see two parts clearly. Okay, one is the yellow colored part and one is the white part. Okay, which is known as egg white. So, it is egg white is rich in proteins and the yolk is rich in vitamins, minerals and fats. So, egg is having all the essential nutrients, vitamins, minerals. Okay, now. Yolk contains food for the growing baby called embryo inside the egg. Egg ki andar kya hai? A small baby which is growing, right? And us baby ko food kaha se milta hai? From the yolk. So that yellow colored portion contains food for the baby. The embryo undergoes many changes and grows into a chick. Okay? It goes many changes and it develops into a small baby. The parent bird keeps the egg warm by sitting on it. Parent bird kya karti hai? It sits on the egg so that uska temperature bada rahe. This is called incubation and this process, which process? That the parent sits on the egg and increase the temperature. This process is called incubation. The fully grown chick breaks the egg and comes out in about 21 days. So in 21 days, a chick is developed and then it comes out by breaking the egg. This is called hatching. This is called hatching. Okay. The process when the baby comes out by breaking the egg is called hatching. See, this process is hatching. See, yahan pe jo egg hai, wo toot raha hai and see, a small baby is coming out. To is process ko hum bolte hai, hatching. See, the whole life cycle is shown here. I will explain you. See, adult hen. The process begins by adult hen. Okay, it gives egg. Okay, this was this is the first process. It gives egg. Okay, adult hen. It gives egg. Second process, mother warms the egg, and this process is called incubation. Is kaam bolte hai incubation. Okay, right here. Okay, in your textbook. This process is called incubation. It warms the egg. Then baby chick hatches out. This is called hatching. And then chick grows up. See as you can see it grows up and then further it will grow into adult hen. And similarly the whole process will start. So this is the life cycle of a hen. Now, 
the young ones do not have feathers and their eyes are closed the parent birds feed and teach them to fly the mother teach the child to fly the parent birds look after their young ones till they are strong enough to look after themselves tab tak mummy unka dhyan rakhti hai and after that once they grow up they go out and then they fly and live their life so children for today this was it in the next class we are going to study about frogs and what is your homework for today your homework for today is to draw the internal structure of an egg you will draw the structure in your notebook children with correct labeling okay bye bye take care may god bless you